So in this video, I'm going to explain how to determine the percent composition of a compound, and then I'm also going, going to review how we convert between units of mass, moles, formula units, etc., etc., which gets us into, introduces us to the concept of stoichiometry, which we will address in the next video. So here, to determine the percent composition, if I'm actually given the mass of a compound, so specifically here I'm told that I have 1.6 grams of zinc and 0.9 grams of copper. All I need to do to find the percent that is copper is take the mass of copper, which is 90 gra 0.90 grams, and divide it by the total mass of the penny, which when I add the two masses together would be 2.50 grams. I'm now going to multiply that by 100%, and what I get for my answer is 36%. However, if instead of being given the mass, I'm simply given the chemical formula, what you need to do is you need to determine the molar mass of carbon, put that on top, and then take the total molar mass of your compound and see what percent of that entire molar mass carbon is a part of. So if I take carbon, and the molar mass of carbon is 12.01, and I multiply that by six, because I've got six carbons, the molar mass I get for carbon is 72.06 grams per mole. Then I'm gonna divide that by the total molar mass of glucose. So 12.01 times six, plus 12 times 1.008, plus six times the molar mass of oxygen, which is 16. And so what I get here is 180, 0.156, and then I'm going to multiply that by 100%, and so what I end up getting, I round to three sig figs, if you round to four that's fine, it's a little bit amb ambiguous for these problems, how to round, I get 40.0%, so that's how to find percent composition, if you're given the mass, awesome, if you're not and just given the chemical formula, use the molar mass of your atoms and your total molecule. The last thing that I need to talk about in this video is Avogadro's number. So talking about converting between mass, moles, volume, and particles. So if, remember, the mole is your central unit. So if I'm wanting to go from mass to moles, remember the conversion factor for that is your molar mass. And that's what we calculated just a second ago when we were doing the percent composition. If I'm going from moles to particles, remember for particles if you have just a single atom it would be atoms, if you have a molecular compound it would be molecules, if you have an ionic compound it would be formula units, the value you're going to be using there, that is Avogadro's number, so 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. And then if I'm wanting to go from moles to, to volume, I can do that, there are 22.4 liters for every one mole, but I must be at STP, which is standard temperature and pressure. And so the temperature at standard temperature and pressure is zero degrees Celsius, and the pressure is one atmosphere. So if I'm under those conditions, I can assume that one mole equals 22.4 liters. So the molar mass equals one mole, 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd, either atoms, molecules, or formula units equals one mole, and then 22.4 liters equals one mole. So let's work on some conversion. So I'm given in this problem 0.5 moles of C6H12O6, which is glucose, and I'm asked to go into grams. Well, I want to get rid of moles, so I'm going to put it on bottom, and I want to get into grams. So going from mass to number of moles, I need to use my molar mass. So in one mole, I need to calculate the molar mass of glucose, and we actually did that in the previous problem. The molar mass is 180.156, and so what I'll do for my answer is I'm just going to take 0.5, and I'm going to multiply it by 180.156, and I will get my answer, which is 90 grams, because I want one sig fig.